Yep, you're good. Good, good, good. I'm out of here. Wish me luck. I'll give me a hug and a kiss. Oh, hope you don't need luck. No, I won't need Hopefully it. you'll come back to me. A good plan requires a lot less luck. <laughs> Next time I can go with you, maybe. Heck yeah, this will be a good experience. All right, I'll keep in touch along the way. Tell Anna to be a good co-pilot. I will. I'll beat her into submission. <laughs> and yeah, I'll keep in touch on the way and let you know when we're on the ground. Sounds good. Goodbye. Bye, love. is on, strobes are on. Transponder set to 1200 and we're squawking altitude. Okay, I think we're good to go. Got my water here, camera's here. Oh, we're looking for full RPM, 2600. We are uh, looking for uh, 60 on the rotate, clear on the approach, we're clear in the pattern. RPMs are good, all pressure's good, airspeed's alive. All right, guys, what we're doing, we're on our way to pick up my sister. This is my first solo flight in this airplane. Um, I got my endorsement on Tuesday, a couple days ago. Uh, feeling confident. So the goal today is actually to uh, head to see my dad. That's what we're trying to achieve. Got a small weather window, just uh, maybe you know 12 hours or so. So we're gonna kind of keep an eye on the weather and we'll make the best decision we can about whether to proceed or not. So we've got about a two hour flight here to uh, my sister's place. And then we'll pick her up and then we'll head uh, toward my parents' place and see how things go. Feel pretty good about the weather. Everything's saying good. The airport of destination saying the weather's good. The forecasts are all saying everything's good through tonight. Got about a four hour flight total, which is good. That's the plan. We're gonna go see my dad. We're gonna be pilots today. We're gonna make good decisions and uh, we'll see, see how we do. Full stop, Baker City. Baker Municipal Airport, Baker, Oregon. Automated weather observation two. Clear the active taxiing to the FBO, Baker. All right, we'll go through a shutdown real quick. So throttle to idle. Avionics are off. Music. About 20. Nope. You want to put this grounding clamp away when you get a second, just that gentle touch yep. to get that reel to yep, reel. Yep. And then we'll put this away. Thanks for your surface ladder. Solid I had the dip twice. Solid tin. Rocking it'll splash the oil a little bit. I find that you kind of rotate it up. Yeah, I found there that notch. Yeah. I won't be able to go. Oh yeah. Uh, more like 13? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's I've heard that you dip the tail and it like reads way different. So let's just keep an eye on it. I gotta figure out what that even means. I do know that when it nose is low. It'll read eight. You add five quarts. And then you dip the tail and it's like a 15. So, oh, whoops. so let's not do that. Ready okay. to close this? Yep. Good. And uh, we'll go pay for fuel at the potty. All right, the plane looks good. Everything checks out. We got full fuel. Check the oil. Walk around on the plane. So we're off on leg number two. Totally didn't get our takeoff on camera. Dang, damn it. Oh, well. We got the chance of seeing some pretty good elk herds going up there here. Nice. Alyssa's phone died right as I was about to leave, so she didn't get to be taken off there either. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we want to be heading about uh, 227 magnetic. 227. 
So I need your help monitoring yep. for ice. I want you to look at the wing struts and I want you to look at the leading edge of the wing yep. here. Yep. If you see any ice building up, I want to know about it right away, okay? Okay. That'll do. Not yeah. bad for four and a half hours of flying. Yeah. That you just get worse and worse and worse as you fly. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of stuff uh -huh. that can't make it to Medford comes in here and vice versa. Yep. All right, let's go through shutdown here. So we're going to turn the avionics off. Yep. Woohoo, we made it. Holy smokes. Yeah. A couple of wannabe pilots over here. Look at this naked time stuff. Yeah, right? Thank you. Nailed it. And <laughs> what's super nice is that I'm legal for one night landing. So I can add that to my logbook. Booyah. Booyah. So that'll help with currency. Good night, airplane. See you in the morning. But for now, it's time to eat. Oh, Alyssa's going to make us hike. She doesn't love us. Huh. Well, let's start walking, huh? Guys, the flight went fantastic. Anna's a great co-pilot. I was a little worried when we left because there's a huge uh, storm north of us here. And I was worried that, not so much about rain or anything like that, but the ceilings being low and uh, not being able to get over the mountains because we had to cross two, three, four mountain ranges. No small amount, right? Oh, cool, my phone decided to start working. <laughs> Thanks, Alyssa. Thanks, love. Thanks for sending us a reservation. Once we got clear of it, we decided to make a reservation for a hotel, so. Alyssa and I are, or Alyssa, Ann and I are going to go find some food. We're going to crash. I think tomorrow morning we're going to come back and deal with the plane. There's a pretty big storm coming tomorrow, so we're going to get it hangered. And then, uh, yeah, then I think we're going to sleep. Tomorrow we'll deal with the plane, and then time to see family. Yeah, I figured I'd just call and say hi. Been gone all day already, I guess. Yep. You know it. Thanks for booking us a room. The sign on the door says no vacancy, so you must have done it at the right time. Nice. It's awesome. When you found a room with a hot tub, which is awesome because we have a hot tub. Yeah, we're actually right next to it. <laughs> yep. No, it's actually not that bad. It's a little bit of a walk. Anna's bag's like 500 pounds, so she's pretty frustrated, but it was good for her. I'm definitely tired. It's been a long day for some reason, just mentally, I guess. I know. It's not even daylight yet out there. What in the world? Like, why are we up? No, oh, it's trying. It's thinking about being daylight out there. Well, we got some sleep. Not a lot. Not the best. But it was sleep. And some jerk, whoever you are out there, bad karma, bad juju, set the alarm in this hotel room for 7 a.m. and left it on. It's coming back, buddy. Whoever you are. All right. We're doing breakfast. Then we go get the rental car. And it's raining out there, so we got to go put the plane away. All right, let's go. Soon. Hot tub soon. So the rental car called and said they don't have very many cars. <laughs> and I said, don't worry, we'll come look. So we got to go find out what our options are. And we're off like a turd of hurdles. Let's go out this way. Western Oregon personified. That's the forecast. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That 
How do we get there without going in the rain? We don't. Do you guys know why the Oregon State or University of Oregon mascot is a duck? I'll give you one guess. The ocean you go. To the ocean. I have a question. Are these lines super squiggly? Because that's a marijuana dispensary? Oh. That's just some serious. Because these man. <laughs> arrows look really drunk, right? Am I crazy? It says overflow. Oh, they have an overflow for when they get really busy. Why? Thank you! Oh my god. That's a catulpa. A catulpa? Yep. That thing's huge! Otherwise known as a catava bionids. Wow. You could... bean, bean pod, but like that long. Wow. Alyssa, I just found the tree that we need for our property to give us a ridiculous amount of shade. It's a catalpa tree. Yep. Look at that thing. Look at that. <laughs> That'll do. Who needs to plant fruit trees when you can plant shade? Yes! Uh, now I don't know how to get the rock out of there. Here, can you hold that? I don't want some poor sucker to... I got it. Okay, good. We're good. Here, go back to where you were. Here you go. Hello, how are you doing? Do you think it's sporty enough? A little low. That's great. It is a little low. Right, they don't know where we're going, right? Oh, God. Heat wave over here. It's 54. To the airport. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll see you there. Okay, that sounds good. Drive safe. See ya. Bye. <laughs> yeah, let's put it on this. That'll work. Whew. Finally got it. slow pump. I wouldn't want to fuel a jet with this. Yeah, that's true because usually there's only one and it's usually too big and then you're like have a really hard time going slow. I might not have put enough money in there. I paid for 40. It's gonna be really close. Hey, hey coming in. So we added 17 and a half to the left wing, which means we added not 20 gallons, so 19.3 to the right. So we burned a little bit more coming here than we did going to your place. Headwind. According to Very this, headwind. well, we had some serious headwinds, yep. Fun, fun, fun. Bye airplane. Hope you're cozy in the hangar. We'll see you on Monday, maybe. I don't think we need that. Specialty. I don't think we need that no? for the airplane. Uh, Do they have any flare guns? It's a land anchor. Do they have um, any flare guns? No. Flares there. What? No flare guns. But no flare guns. You can't, you can't shoot them, apparently. Apparently. Guys, it's for the plane. Don't worry. We're not going to do anything with flare guns. It's for the airplane. So I guess it's probably time to share why this trip's even remotely important to me, I guess. And I think it's important to my entire family. So my dad tells a story that it was either kids or an airplane. Have you ever heard that story from dad? Yeah. And all I have, my response to that is thanks dad. <laughs> thanks a bunch, right? So in a way, 
a lot of the things that Alyssa and I are doing are kind of living out the dreams that my dad had. And he chose to have a family and I mean, not that he had to, it's not my fault you didn't get an airplane, dad. I'll just, <laughs> it's not my fault. But in a way, a lot of the things that Alyssa and I are accomplishing were his dreams. And I know that my dad always wanted to have an airplane and he always wanted to be a pilot. And I'm very fortunate to be able to do that. And I think Ann and I are kind of realizing the benefits of that reality. So yesterday we came in total trip was six hours, a distance that driving would have taken us somewhere around 14, 14 hours or so. Um, I know what Google says and we've never been able to do it in what Google says because you have to pee. Yeah. You got to get fuel and you're get hungry. Very hungry. Um, yeah. So we're going to go visit my dad. He's getting a bit older. It'll be nice to see him. I haven't been home in two years, a little over two years. Haven't seen everybody. And in that time, a lot's happened. So that's why today's so important. Uh, very fortunate to be over here. We're going to meet up with my brother and we're going to go have some family time today. And that feels really good. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. You Thank too. You. But first, coffee. Send a text message. What do you want to say? If you can't find us, just look for the rental car with California plates. Yep, I said it. California plates. Ready to send it? Unfortunately, yes. Consider it done. Good. So would you believe... We, we, we go to rent the car, first of all, and they ask if we're from, from the state. And I said, I'm not, you know, banana is. And they said, oh, well, they have to have a major credit card. And to rent anything bigger than a car, you have to have a major credit card, <laughs> right? So we, anyway, we, we, we got the car. Anna had a major credit card in her pocket, so it all worked out. <laughs> go out. And the car has California plates on it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like... So you're giving us heck about being out of staters and here you are giving us a car and the guy goes, here's the thing though, that gives you license to be a complete jerk and you can be a butt. Uh, what did he call it? A blamer, a user, and a taker. Taker, yeah. <laughs> nice. Use that to your advantage. That's what he said and he goes, you can use that now. And I said, well, I, I like how you spun this into a positive. around here we've got to be getting close <laughs> we're just about in the middle of nowhere that's pretty safe oh this is not as middle of nowhere as we flew across yesterday that's true there is a there is a little bit more middle of nowhere than this but we're, we're getting close oh I see a trailer wait does dad have a fifth wheel or a trailer it's a trailer He's so that's probably with a Jeep, remember? Right, so that's probably not dad. How did I get mud on my phone? What? <laughs> that's because I stuck it out the window. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, so, yep, that's not dad. Although, they do use tarps like our dad would do. I don't know. Maybe dad's got all kinds of upgrades. Wait. What in the world? We're cool. Cool. We're so, having fun. So we're not the only ones that are like, huh? <laughs> oh, we're lost. We just oh. thought it might be dad went changed everything and you know. Maybe dad got Craigslist, you know? <laughs> I know you guys are wondering what's Alyssa doing. The answer is she's baking a cinnamon roll cookie at home. Looks pretty good, love. It's not bad. So we're calling him on the radio. And the people are like, who are you and what do you want? And the answer is, we're looking for our dad. Have you seen him? We've seen a guy, he's about this tall. He's in his 70s and he lives in a trailer with a Jeep. And they're like, nope, haven't seen him. 
We were gonna buy a flare gun at Walmart. Is dad one of those people that spots you before you spot him? I have no idea. All right, we're back on the chase. <laughs> Away we go, back where we came from. This could take all day. Nah, it's not that big out here. We only went by about 10 roads, Let's so. Let's go get the airplane. I know, right? We'll just fly over. That's a good idea. Except it's a little low. Okay, it's a lot low. I know, right? Which one do you want? It usually doesn't even have it on if he's not. Yeah, it usually just goes straight to voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. I don't know. I don't even know that it's ringing. Like, it's done that to me before where it just rings like three times and goes to voicemail. We can keep calling him. But. Yeah. So how did we get on the top of that hill the last time? Remember that? It was pretty rugged getting up there though. So we went this way. From what I understand, he was on cat. He's up. He's up here. Yeah. Yeah. He said he's he's just on the other side of where he's at before. That's what he said. Whatever that means. He's like watching the backup camera. Let's four wheel drive this thing. <laughs> All right. This is this is getting ridiculous. Like, so you guys want to know why I don't go see my dad much? It's a little hard to find. <laughs> so yeah, did, were we supposed to bring this back clean? I hope not. I hope not. It's probably not going to be very clean when we get done. He but didn't we're not, say anything about He clean. never mentioned cleanliness. He did say gas it up when we bring yes. it back. So here's the thing. We're not giving up. We're going to go hang around phone phone reception. You know that new technology they created called cell phone? And see if maybe my dad decides to check his phone and see if he's going to call us back or not. <laughs> and now we wait. <laughs> Should we get dad some of that internet stuff? It would have to be like satellite based out here. He has the email. <laughs> Should we get him the social media? <laughs> oh man, all right. Time to sit here and wait. Although I don't have cell phone service here. Does anybody else? Anybody got a millipede tag? Hey, how are you calling in a millipede? Did you count its legs? I did, 100. No, but I have a cannon too. My dad is out there somewhere. Well, this wasn't supposed to take this long. I thought we knew right where he was at, and it turns out we have no clue. The other loggers haven't seen him, and uh, well, let's just say it's not exactly street signs out here. So I think we're going to do the uh, cell phone thing for a little while. If we can't find him, we're going to go knock on the local grocery store, see if they've heard from him. Seems like a good strategy. Cell phone fail. So now we're gonna have to start using some really old fashioned tactics to find this guy. We're gonna have to use a CB radio, which isn't that old fashioned, I guess. Well, 40 years. We're also gonna use the, uh, hey, have you seen a guy about this high? <laughs> Tactic around the, around the area and just see if he's anybody. He's pretty distinct. Super. I think that's dad's trailer right over there. No Jeep though. Oh, there it is. Looking right looking at it. For. I've been looking up at the logging up on top. I wonder it's still if, fire season, so he's supposed to go up and observe. I wonder if he's up on top somewhere. All we gotta do is flash our California plates and he'll be down here in a hurry. I think that's his new trailer. Yeah, that looks right. That's where those trucks were coming out too. Right over. Oh, there's a cloud there now. Oh, there's a cloud there now. So he's just right over there. But how the heck do you get there? It's looking right. It's looking steep, it's looking muddy. If I was a logging truck, I'd be up here. There's his trailer. Way over there. I think we're there. I see a Jeep that slowly resembles a relative of mine. And I see a bunch of trees. We can fit five people in there. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see oh, you now. Yeah, lots of room and everything. Like you don't mind not being anything but piled on top of each other. True. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. That's 
it's definitely my dad's place in a trailer on the side of a mountain. Nice. Hey, that kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? Look in a trailer. It's been a wonderful visit. It's good to have my family here. Spend time with family. I don't know, I guess I never really thought, be, you know, becoming a pilot would give me this ability to get over here and visit with my dad and see my brother and spend time with my family. It's pretty special. Yeah, especially, I know everybody says it, appreciate your parents while they're here because there'll come a day where they're not, right? So we're gonna go to dinner, spend some time as a family. It's a pretty special time. And then hopefully, uh, we'll get back to the hotel this evening and rest a little bit and then I don't know what kind of trouble we're gonna get into. Yeah. And Here's turkeys. One. And turkeys. Yeah. Those are dark deer. All colors looking a little better over here. It looked like barely even turned in town. Yeah, it's just been those last four days or five days. Oh yeah. A lot of leaves already fallen too. Yep. What an evening, guys. So we got to have dinner as a family. That was pretty cool. My brother was able to stick around. It was nice. And visit with my dad, and we got to hear some of the old stories of when he used to shoot firecrackers at barges. Things you don't know about your parents until you find out over dinner one night in a small town. Well, it's been a long day. It's been a long trip. I know Ann and I are pretty tired. I think we're gonna wind down and relax. And then this weekend, we're hoping to meet back up with my dad again and spend some time with him, maybe with the airplane.